So I am now starting on the repository part. Uh, so I first click on the repo. Uh, you get this view. So I am now creating a new repository. Uh, that is the repository is git version control. No need to add readme file. And repository name is Udemy backend uh, underscore is more readable. Udemy backend API that is our application name. I create a git repository. So <clears throat> I also added a GitHub repo for our project. So I show you the GitHub repo. I created a GitHub application uh, for uh, for the development purpose. So in my that is a very simple application. I using the editor that is the name uh, JetBrains Rider. A simple backend application for running Azure DevOps. So I need I want to connect uh, this repo with my uh, backend board that is already created repository to Udemy backend API. So I'm not interested to work in the HTTPS. I basically uh, use the SSH part. Uh, so when you are using it. SSH, so you don't need to uh, add the login username password. So I click the manage SSH key. So I haven't any key added already. So I add the new key. Suppose uh, so I am that uh, I am not using this uh, area. I am using uh, my account that is Tafosh Ghosh because in the repository uh, ssh key uh, ssh manage ssh key my computer because this is the shown account is the me account so i added the key name uh, my laptop and need to paste the ssh key so how can we get the ssh key we're using c drive user uh, then uh, username then click the ssh and copy the public key copy this key and paste this key remove the space id invalid key valid with state ssh rsa so some problem my ssh key ID RSA and think that is the public key, it's the private key. So, okay, so I am facing issue, don't need. So, I added, I am not added, added the key. I am going to manage SSH key. So, I not need, I click the HTTP and git remote at origin. I copy the URL. I copy the URL and paste this in the terminal. So I added the origin of the project. So I need to push. And I told you if you're using source tree, that is very, very handy for your work. So I now, I already created a branch in the master branch. I need to push. So it's showing uh, my GitHub part is the GitHub repo and I origin part is the connected with the Azure. Okay, so I push the master branch. So it comes to the credential of Microsoft. Uh, use another account. First time login it it gets your credential information okay i think now code moves to the branch okay if i go to there 
and go to the repo and refresh. Files. Commit. What's the issue? My source tree. Push. Origin master push. It show me the all code is already pushed in this repo. Put in backend API. Branches. What's the issue? Investigate. I found the issue. The issue is I uh, mistakenly added Udemy developer training repo the code. So I'm going again Udemy backend API and I need to change the origin uh, URL. So Udemy developer, the, this is the wrong uh, URL for the origin. So I need to update the origin URL. Git update origin URL. Git remote set URL origin. Git remote set URL origin and then need the uh, repo name, Udemy backend API. That is the repo name, copy. So I added this, paste. Then now again, I'm going to the my source tree and again push Udemy developer Udemy tutoring the origin change is not updated yet so branch uh, i refresh the workspace i check this git remote says git git remote remote url git remote can be so the origin url is not updated would me develop devops training why clone your computer would me backend empty at some code would me devops training what the issue Now the I think git remote at origin would me backend API. If I check this uh, push push the code now check the branch. So now our basic commit is done and the project come to the there and if I click the branches I, I saw there is a I see there is only a branch that is the master branch okay so next video I will show you how to uh, uh, about my repository that is my code environment what type of things is present in the development environment and the repository uh, okay